Okay, so what we're going to work on today are, are rational equations that are involved with word problems. So these are uh, work problems because it involves doing a, a job and doing a job together. All right, so it says one pipe can fill a pool 1.25 times faster than a second pipe. So that means the second pipe is, actually, is slower. So we know that the second pipe will take 1.25 times longer. All right, so it says when both pipes are open, they fill the pool in five hours. How long will it take for the pool if only the slower pipe is used? All right, so the first thing is you want to write down uh, what we know. So we know, what we know is that the second pipe, the slower pipe, will take 1.25 times longer than the fast pipe. So the fast pipe is X hours, and the slow pipe will take 1.25 hours. So, so you're multiplying, the slow pipe has the multiplication, even though you would think it's bigger, but it's actually, it's bigger because it's taking more hours. And together, it takes five hours. So we're going to convert now. Because I want to know how much the job gets done per hour. So I take the fast pipe, which is X, and I write it as 1 over X. So that's 1 per hour. And then the slow pipe would be 1 over 1.2 X hours. And together, it would be 1 over 5. And now you're going to write an equation. So the equation is the pi is the fast pipe plus the slow pipe equals the together. So I have 1 over x plus 1 over 1.25x is equal to 5. So now we're going to solve this. So I could multiply everything by 5. That'll get rid of this guy here. That'll help get rid of this. You might not have realized it because it is a decimal, but that, that does help there. Okay, and uh, it doesn't do anything here in the first fraction. So then I also have to give everybody an x. So I'm going to multiply everything by uh, 5x. So when I multiply everything by 5x, the x and the x reduce, so I'm left with 5 the x here and x here reduce, so I'm left with 5 over 1.25, which is actually 4, so this reduces here to 4, so I have 5 plus 4 equals, uh, 5 and 5 reduce, so I'm left with x, so my answer is here, for my x, is that x is equal to 9, 5 plus 4 is equal to 9. So now remember, I know it's a little cut off down here. So it wanted to know how long will it take the slow pipe. The slow pipe is 1.25x. So it's 1.25 times 9, which is 11.25. So it will take the slower pipe 11.25 hours, which the fast pipe, it actually only takes 9 hours. All right, so flip your paper over, and we'll work on the problem on the back. All right, so this says uh, one painter can paint the entire house in 12 hours. And the second painter takes eight hours. How long will it take two painters to paint the house together? So I want to do paint a one plus paint a two equals the together. All right, so the 12 hours for painter one, I want to represent how much he could get done in one hour. So to represent how much he gets done in one hour, so the entire house is 12 hours. How much does he get done in uh, 12 hour, uh, one hour, sorry. So that's one over 12 plus. The second painter, he takes eight hours to do the entire house. So how much does he get done in one hour? So I do one over eight is equal to. And then I want to know how long will it take them to paint the entire house. I don't know how long it takes them to paint the entire house, so I'm going to make that X, hours. And then I want 1 over X. How long does it take? 
All right, so then I'm going to solve this. So I noticed that my I have a 12 and an 8, so my LCD would be 24 there. 24, 24, 24. And then I have to get rid of the X, so I'll give each one an X. So now let's reduce here. So I have 12 and 24 reduced to 1 and 2. So I have 2X here plus 8 and 24 reduced to 3 and 1. So I'm left with plus 3X is equal to X and X reduced. So I'm left with 24. So 5X is equal to 24. Divide both sides by 5. I get X is equal to 4.8. So we'll take 4.8 hours for them to paint the house together. Okay, so that's it, and uh, we'll work more on these tomorrow. All right, have a good night.